The story begins with a young woman named Shin who works as a screenwriter at a huge company named Times Pictures. She's been in love with her boss, Tong, since she first saw him four years ago. However, she's kept those feelings to herself. When she finds out that he likes her best friend, she even helps set them up. Unfortunately, her friend ends up rejecting him and marrying another man. So now she thinks it's the right moment to get close to him and open up about her feelings. Shin begins her mission by visiting his office and giving him cake to cheer him up. She tries to comfort him through his heartbreak, but he's in his own world and refuses to eat. Disappointed, she exits the office and starts thinking of other strategies to win him over. While leaving for home, she lies to Tong, saying her vehicle is under repair. She requests for his car and even convinces his assistant, Gao, to leave. Tong agrees, but when she tries to drive, she realizes she's too short to reach the pedals. Seeing her struggle, he helps her move the seat, and her heart almost bursts out of her chest. At that moment, she notices Gao standing in front of her personal car, so she gets nervous and quickly drives away. The next day at work, Shin basically bribes Gao with breakfast, pleading with him not to tell Tong about her little fib. He understands that she has feelings for her boss and agrees to keep the secret. Meanwhile, Tong sees him from a distance and thinks Shin must have a crush on Gao since she's giving him breakfast. A few days later, he suggests that anyone with a solid story idea for the next film should contact him. When Shin finds out, she decides to write a script that will knock his socks off. She even enrolls in his gym and purposefully shares pictures of her workout to get closer to him. And when he finally shows up for his morning routine, she approaches him with confidence. During their conversation, Shin talks about her script and asks him to be the producer of the movie. Our hero responds that if the story is good, he'll find her another producer. However, she kind of panics and says she only wants him and no one else. She soon realizes that she may have said too much, so she tries to cover it up. Shin claims that she wants him to be the producer because his movies have never flopped. Failing to convince him, she gets frustrated and leaves. In the afternoon, Shin meets with her friend Juan and vents about her unrequited love. The letter suggests she forget about him, but our girl is not going to give up so easily. Afterward, Juan has to leave for a work emergency, so she asks Shin to take care of the place and promises to give her a cut if she can make a good profit. A little while later, a young woman named Ding shows up at the store with her friends. Turns out, she's the boss's sister. Shin, who's unaware of this, excitedly greets them and shows them some high-end clothes. Ding is completely obsessed by the outfits and decides to buy them all, but while checking out, she notices that the very last one is very expensive, making her hesitate. This is when our heroine steps in with a plan. She claims that the dress is a limited edition and was custom made for a certain model. She says that if Ding doesn't want it, she'll keep it for the model. Hearing this, the young woman adds the dress to her haul. When Juan returns shortly after, she is taken aback to see all of her clothes sold out. She thanks Shin profusely for making that happen and pays the commission as promised. She also tries to persuade her to switch careers to sales, but the latter refuses. Later, Shin's worried that her script might not be good enough, so she goes to meet an acclaimed screenwriter. He gives her some constructive criticism on what she can do better. Moments later, she notices the famous director Zhe Xing in the distance and is fascinated by his good looks. Turns out he's also a fan of hers and compliments her work. The two happily chat for a while and exchange numbers before leaving. That evening, Shin hangs newly printed photos of Tong and we see that her entire wall is covered with pictures of him. The next day at the office, he's reviewing various scripts from screenwriters, but so far has rejected all of them. When it's Shin's turn, she's about to mention that it's an adaptation of her novel Dream of You, but he dismisses her. She then asks for a chance to elaborate, so he reluctantly gives her five minutes to explain her story. Our girl then delivers a brilliant speech, which impresses even him. Although he doesn't accept her script right away, he agrees to consider it. Later, when Tong comes across his assistant in the elevator, he remembers how Shin brought him breakfast the other day and asks if they like each other. Gao is stunned by the question and immediately says no. At that moment, Shin also arrives in the elevator, creating a somewhat awkward environment. To break the silence, she once again lies that her car is being repaired. But this time, Gao betrays her by revealing that he saw her car in the parking lot. Obviously, this embarrasses her and she tries to leave. However, Tong surprises her by offering her a ride home. The entire trip, there's a huge smile across her face and she's on cloud nine. She then takes the opportunity to ask about her script. Tong replies that while it's good, it will require more resources because it's a fantasy story. He says there's too many elements, which would make the production much larger. Hearing this, she feels bad and assumes he's just making up excuses not to work on her novel. Upon returning home, Tong finds a box in his parking spot which contains a kitten. Even though he doesn't like pets, he takes the cat home and decides to keep it for the night. Later when Ding calls him, she hears the meow and gets excited. He says he's getting rid of it tomorrow, but she begs him to keep it until she can convince her mother to adopt it. The next day, Shin decides to improve her skills by working in the production department of a movie set. There, she works tirelessly day and night. 
One morning, Tong visits the set and notices her asleep on the desk. A crew member informs him that she's been working diligently and hasn't slept all night. This makes him feel bad for her, so he covers her with his jacket before leaving. Later when she wakes up, she discovers his jacket around her. This makes her incredibly happy as she realizes cares about her. That evening, she receives a call from Jasin who wants to talk to her about something important. During their meeting, he praises her work and shows interest in her adaptation of the novel, Dream of You. Although her heroine is flattered, she tells him that she's working with Times Pictures and the company owns the copyright to her work. She asks him to wait until her contract expires in a few months, to which he agrees. Meanwhile, Tong returns home and discovers that the cat has made a complete mess of his house. He tries to clean the place, but the cat ends up scratching him. Worried, he immediately calls Shin and asks her to come over to help him. When she arrives, she looks at his wound and they head to the hospital. There, they check on the kitten's health, and Tong also gets an injection. While leaving, Shin asks him to give her the kitten, and he agrees without hesitation. The next day, Ding arrives at his house to pick up the cat, but he tells her that he's already given it to someone else. Right then, she sees a post of Shin and the cat and recognizes her from the store. She asks Tong if he gave the cat to her, and he nods with a yes. This pisses Ding off, and she accuses her brother of putting other girls before her. Later at the office, Gao hands Tong a stack of novels that have reached the renewal period. When our hero notices a dream of you, he specifically tells him to renew this one and claims that he wants to use it for an upcoming film. Later when Shin finds out about this, she is both surprised and confused. She doesn't feel she's made any progress this year and doesn't deserve it. Therefore, she assumes that he must have feelings for her and wants her to stay in this company. With this realization, she finally decides to confess her feelings to her boss. In the next scene, she arrives at the office in a beautiful red dress, turning everyone's head. Shin approaches Tong and tells him that since her friend is now married, he has no chance with her. She then shows him her dress and asks if she's beautiful. Our hero nods in approval and abruptly asks if she likes him. Shin is taken aback, but she gathers her courage and confirms it. She says that she's liked him for four years, and when he asks why, she states it's because he's handsome and rich. Hearing this, Tong is disappointed, as he'd hoped she would have fallen for his personality. Shin begins to cry and as she walks away, her hopes are shattered. But moments later, she returns to his office and confronts him again. She accuses him of giving her false hope and asks why he always comes to her when he's in need, when there are many other employees. Despite her anger, she surprises him with a passionate kiss. Even though he tries to escape, she doesn't let him and leaves him breathless. Afterward, she tells him that the kiss marks her decision to live her life without him. When she arrives home, an anguished Shin begins tearing his pictures from the walls, but doesn't discard them. Later, she receives a call from her parents, but when they try to show her some pictures of guys for blind dates, she gets annoyed and tells them that she doesn't want to see anyone. Meanwhile, Tong stays up all night, lost in his thoughts. He keeps recalling the long kiss she gave him and begins to miss her. The next day, Shin goes to work on the movie set where Tong also shows up. He tries to talk to her, but she claims she's busy and walks away. She then goes to Huan's store and vents her frustration. Sometime later, Ding arrives at the store again to shop and realizes that the dresses are even more expensive this time. Frustrated, she calls Tong and complains about his friend charging her so much, so he agrees to send her the money. This makes her very pleased and she gladly pays for all the outfits. Before she leaves, she introduces herself as Tong's sister, which leaves our heroine in shock. In the evening, Shin meets with Jishin to discuss selling the copyright for the novel. After careful thought, she agrees to sell it to him instead of Time's Pictures. This makes him very excited, and he repeatedly confirms it to make sure it's true. Later, when they're celebrating the deal over drinks, they talk about Tong. Turns out, Jishing and Tong were college friends and used to be really close. Shin gets curious and asks for more information about him and what he was like. The letter reveals that Tong gets jealous easily and tends to start drinking when he feels that way. The next day, Shin talks to her manager about her decision not to extend her contract with Time's Pictures. When Tong learns of this, he gets pissed. He gets even more upset when he finds out that Shin was having a romantic dinner with Jishin last night. That night, she announces on social media that she's leaving Time's Pictures and handing over her novel to be directed by Mr. Liu. Seeing this, her fans quickly start searching for people surnamed Liu in the movie industry. The following morning, Tong also finds out about this and summons her to his office. He tells her that he never claimed that he didn't like her novels and agrees to adapt her work into a movie. However, she says she's run out of patience because she signed a contract four years ago and still hasn't made a movie. He then asks about the person she's working with, but she refuses to share his name. Later when she leaves, Gao arrives and discloses that it's none other than his old friend, Liu Jusin. While everyone speculates about Mr. Liu's identity, Jishin comes forward and officially announces his involvement. Afterward, he and Shin meet to discuss the details of her contract. 
He claims he will raise her signing fee since this book was once a bestseller, but she states that he can bear the same amount as Time's pictures because her main concern is seeing the novel made into a movie. While they're leaving, they unexpectedly come across Tong, who gets upset to see them together. He accuses Shin of deceiving him since she still technically works for his company. However, Shishin defends her, claiming that they're simply friends having a meal together. In the evening, Tong texts her to ask how she's doing, but having already decided to ignore him, she doesn't respond. The next day, she receives a contract from Jasin and is excited that her novel is finally being adapted into a movie. As she heads home, Tong comes up to her in the parking lot and asks her not to leave his company. He says he wants to work on her project and even offers to increase her salary. However, Shin refuses and claims that he knows nothing of her work because he hasn't even read her best-selling novel. She bluntly states that Jashin is the only one who truly admired or valued her work, so she chose him. Returning home, Tong takes out her novel which she gave him a long time ago. He finally opens it and sees a short note she left for him in which she indirectly admits her feelings. As he reads the novel, he notices how similar the plot of the story is to their life and realizes how much she used to like him. The next day, Shin hands in her resignation letter, but he refuses to accept it. He suggests that she continue her project with Shishin, but also work for him in her free time. But our girl asserts that she's uncomfortable in this place and wants to leave. Hearing this, he accuses her of being impulsive and rude. When she tries to leave, he pulls her closer and asks why she liked him in the first place. Shin says it's because he's handsome and rich, but he isn't satisfied with the answer. After repeatedly asking her, she replies the same thing, so he finally gives up and lets her go. Meanwhile, Ding becomes a fan of Shin's novels and purchases a thousand copies of her book for a fan giveaway. When Shin finds out about this, she's elated and sends her a text, thanking her for her support. During their conversation, Ding takes a chance to ask her why she left her brother's company. Although the question takes our heroine by surprise, she decides to tell her the whole truth. That evening, Tong arrives for dinner with his family during which his parents pressure him to get married soon. At that moment, Ding shares that he has already found someone he likes. This pleasantly surprises their mother, who wants to know who the girl is, but he gets nervous and leaves. The next day, Ding goes to meet Shin to have the book signed, which will make them even more special for her fans. During this time, the two hit it off, and they share their interactions on social media. When Tong comes across the post, he texts his sister and requests a signed copy for himself. That evening, Ding arrives at his home and hands him the signed book. In it, Shin has drawn a small pig, which makes him chuckle. He then calls her and asks if she really thinks he's a pig. However, she rudely tells him that she's quit the company and tells him to stop bothering her. After hanging up, he checks her social media and sees posts in which she's expressed her excitement about the novel adaptation. Without much thinking, he shares the post and then goes to bed. The following morning when Shin wakes up, she discovers that the internet has exploded because Tong shared her post. Jising also notices this and becomes upset. He quickly calls her to ensure that they're still on the same page. He's afraid that she's returned to the Times pictures, but she assures him that such unpredictable behavior is not her style. Later, the two meet, and he brings her to his office to introduce her to his employees. Everyone's a big fan of hers, and they greet her warmly. Meanwhile, Tong is in his office when Gao updates him on the recent market research data for Jasin's company. Since Dream of You is a fantasy novel, there's going to be significant production costs. Therefore, Gao suggests he invest in this project. Tong agrees, especially because it's an opportunity to be closer to Shin. Days later, she meets Jasing, who informs her that the head scriptwriter is ill and has been admitted to the hospital, so he gives her the position of screenwriter and asks if she's willing to do this. The news takes her by surprise, but as the original author, she's overjoyed to have this opportunity and agrees. He then reveals that Times Pictures wants to invest in their project and asks if she's okay with it. She replies that he should proceed with the negotiation if the conditions are favorable. Despite being annoyed by Tong's arrogant demeanor, she decides to meet with him since she needs his investment. During the meeting, he asks to be the sole investor because he regrets not doing the project before. He offers very generous terms, but Jusin asks for some time to think about it. Tong then tries to speak with Shin, but she continues to ignore him. That evening, he's at home when Ding shows up very drunk. She says she can't go to her parents' house in this condition and asks him to let her stay. While they chat, she inadvertently reveals that Shin is looking to buy a new apartment. The following day, Shin finds a wonderful house that is within her budget. Days later, she settles into her new place, and Tong suddenly arrives with a delivery, claiming he was just passing by. Despite her refusal, he enters inside and begins organizing and sorting her stuff. During their conversation, he admits that he wants to reconcile with her, but she refuses. He then pulls her closer, and she begins to feel shy. 
Their hearts race, and he reminds her of their kiss in the office, which makes her even more nervous. After he leaves, Ding arrives to help Shin, and she notices her brother's car in the parking lot. She asks if he's there, but our heroine says no. At that moment, Tong shows up with his stuff, and the girls are shocked when they realize he has moved in right next door. Ding approaches him and asks why he left his villa to move into this flat. He replies that when he learned Shin was looking for a place, he called his real estate cousin and bought two adjacent apartments. Hearing this, she rushes to Shin and tells her that her brother must be in love with her. She claims that this place is only affordable because he bought it and rented it out for her. Our heroine finds this whole thing strange, but shrugs it off. Not long after, her friends also arrive and the girls have a great time partying and having fun. Meanwhile, Tong is home alone, eating a shitty-ass meal he made for himself. After drinking too much, Ding goes to stay at her brother's house. She continues to ask him why he moved here, and he finally admits that he likes Shin and wants to pursue her. She's happy to hear this, but informs him that Shin doesn't like him anymore. Unfortunately, this statement makes Tong so angry that he kicks her out of the house. The next morning, he peers through Shin's door and realizes she's about to leave for work. So, he hurries into his house and comes out again, pretending it's a coincidence. They both enter the elevator, and he gives her the breakfast he prepared. He then looks her in the eye and says he wants to pursue her. However, she reminds him that he himself said they are incompatible. He says he wants to take back all he said, but she ignores him and leaves. That evening, Ding invites Shin to a party hosted by one of her friends. There, the girls have a fun time together drinking. Tipsy, Ding says that her brother must really like Shin a lot because he only does such things when he's extremely fond of someone. Hearing this, our girl recalls how he used to pursue her friend, and she feels like a second option for him. Soon after, Tong arrives with a friend to pick up the girls. After sending Ding home, he takes Drunk Shin to his car, where she behaves affectionately towards him. He then carries her home and puts her on his bed. He starts caressing her and tries to make things clear by telling her that he never wanted to pursue her friend. However, she interrupts him and says that she has a secret. As she's about to reveal it, she inconveniently passes out. The next morning when Shin wakes up, she's startled to hear Tong calling her for breakfast. This embarrasses her and she recalls what happened last night. Later, she changes her clothes and sits down for breakfast with him. He asks her about the secret she tried to tell him last night, but she has no idea what he's talking about. He then takes a chance to apologize for using her and hurting her feelings by chasing her friend. He claims he wasn't interested in her friend and was only pursuing her because his parents were forcing him to get married. That evening, Shin goes out to see a movie with Jashin, and during this time, a friend of Ding's notices them and takes their picture. When Ding receives the photo, she forwards it to her brother. He's currently on a business trip and is worried that Shin hasn't replied to his text. And when he sees the picture, he gets even more upset. The next day, the team goes to a film academy to find a lead actress for Dream of You. Unfortunately, Jasing isn't impressed with any of the candidates and gets frustrated. Later, as he and Shin walk out of the academy, they accidentally come across Ding. He's immediately enchanted by her beauty and believes she's perfect for the main role. So he approaches her, and Shin introduces the two to each other. He then offers her the role, but Ding says that she's just a student with no acting experience. He claims he can teach her, and at that moment, Tong arrives on the scene. Upon hearing the situation, he says it's up to his sister, and if she wants to act, he'll support her. After some careful consideration, Ding agrees to go to the academy to see how it feels. In the next scene, Gao approaches Tong and tries to give him some advice on how to get closer to Shin. He tells him to get drunk and knock on her door, so that she will have to take care of him. Hearing this, Tong becomes angry and says that he wouldn't do such idiotic things. But that evening, he decides to try it, and drinks a couple of glasses of whiskey. It doesn't get him drunk, but he pretends to be, and starts knocking on her door. Shin tells him to go back to his place, but he refuses to leave. Having no other option, she takes him inside, and places him on her sofa. She offers him a hangover drink, but he refuses, and pretends to be asleep. Finding this act cute, she decides to let him sleep, and says he looks very handsome. The next morning, Tong wakes up to find her watching him, and smiling. She tells him he's an excellent actor, and he wonders how she found out. She points to the camera in her living room, which reveals he was sober enough to drink water and eat food after she went to bed. Our hero's embarrassed and tries to justify himself, but she kicks him out of the house. Just then, Ding shows up and assumes they spent the night together. However, Shin takes her inside and clarifies that nothing happened between them. Following this, Ding says she wants to take on the role, which makes Shin extremely happy. So she shows her the screenplay she wrote for the novel three years ago, which she never thought she'd use. Later, Ding reads the script and is very impressed by it. Jising also loves it and decides to use it in their movie. Eventually, he accepts Tong's investment offer so they can get started on their project. With this, everyone gets busy with preparations for the official filming of the movie. 
A few days later, an anonymous blogger claims that Shin has plagiarized her novel from another book. Ding becomes very angry upon seeing this and shows it to her. At first, her heroine doesn't worry much and thinks the blogger just wants attention. However, the issue quickly gets worse and it puts the film's production and investment in jeopardy. Shortly after that, Shin's novel is removed from all the bookstores, which makes her very upset. To cheer her up, Ding takes her to a dinner organized by Tong. During the meal, he continues to comfort her and assures her that he will take care of everything. He tells her not to worry and simply concentrate on her work. The following day, he arrives at the shareholders meeting where the board members are furious with him. Shin's plagiarism debacle is trending on the internet, which has resulted in adverse criticism of the project. The board members want to stop the adaptation of her novel, but Tong stands his ground and promises he will fix the issue. He then openly announces at the meeting that if the investment in this movie fails, he will accept personal responsibility and resign. Afterward, Jusin recommends that Shin take a break and assures her that he will take care of the problem. So, she goes to visit her parents, who are quite surprised to see her after such a long time. A few days later, she receives a call from Ding, who informs her that her brother is fighting against the people who are attacking her. She then opens social media and discovers Tong's post, in which he has defended her integrity. Worried, Shin immediately returns to meet him and asks why he's doing this. She doesn't want him to sacrifice his career for her, but he clarifies he isn't doing any of this for her. He says that this adaptation will make him a lot of money, and he's only doing it for his profit. After this, Tong and his crew begin their investigation into the author of the other novel. They eventually discover that the woman's name is Soon, and she's an old classmate of Shin. When our heroine learns about this, she realizes that Soon must have stole her old manuscript and used it to write a new novel. Therefore, she comes up with a plan and posts on her blog that she has the original manuscript, which she will soon share online to prove her innocence. Later, when Soon sees this post, her publisher asks her to share the original manuscript online to prove Shin wrong. Obviously, she hesitates, but the publisher forces her and threatens to expose her if she refuses. Left with no choice, she posts the manuscript online, the same one she had stolen years ago. The next day, Tong and Shin go to meet her and try to persuade her to back down, which she obviously refuses. Shin then shows her a picture of the manuscript and points to her signature at the bottom of the page. This is clear enough evidence to show she wrote the original copy. Seeing this, Soon begins to panic and pleads with her not to take legal action. She claims that she didn't want to do any of this, but her publisher forced her to. However, Shin doesn't say anything and leaves with Tong. On the way, she tells him she doesn't want to sue her and make a big deal out of it. She says that she never imagined her work would be so big, so she's grateful that her dream came true. Not long after, Sun publicly issues an apology on social media and admits that she stole the manuscript from Shin. As a result, the matter comes to a close, and everyone shifts their attention back to making the film. Arriving home, Tong tells Shin that he wants to stay for a while, and she agrees. While he feeds the kitten, she comments that the most attractive men are those that clean the cat's litter, so he does it to impress her. Later, when she's working, he tries to check out her script, but she claims it's not good enough and refuses to let him see it. He then tells her that the script is like their child, and they will grow it together to make it better. A few days later, it's Ding's birthday party, and Tong arrives at Shin's place pretending to pick up the cat litter. But in reality, he wants to see what dress she will wear so he can pick a matching outfit. He notices that she's hung an ethereal kind of dress and believes she's going to wear it. He then returns home and tries to find a matching outfit, but to no avail. Eventually, he opts for a black suit, but when he sees her, he's shocked to see that she's wearing a gorgeous black dress as well. Afterward, the two attend the party where everyone is amazed to see how good they look together. At one point, Tong's mother tries to introduce him to various girls for marriage, but he points to Shin and says he's in love with her. This makes mom excited, and she expresses her desire to talk to her, but Tong refuses, saying that Shin hasn't accepted him yet. The next day, Shin's parents suddenly show up and surprise her. They ask about her love life and pressure her to go on a blind date. Moments later, they see on TV that Tong has been spotted with a famous actress, which makes Shin upset. Her parents also recognize him, as they're aware she used to like him. Later, they run into Tong outside, but Shin stops him from greeting her parents and tells him to go away. Seeing this, her parents are surprised and asks why her boss lives next door to her. They want to talk to him, but Shin pleads with them not to. In the following scene, she heads to go out on her blind date set up by her parents. While leaving, she meets with Gao and tells him where she's going. Hearing this, he panics and rushes to inform his boss. Tong is furious to find out about this, so he calls Jisun and requests a meeting to revise the screenplay. The latter then quickly calls Shin, so she has to postpone her date and rush to the office. Seeing Tong there, she realizes he spotted her on a date, but doesn't say anything. 
Following the meeting, Shin rushes to her date and meets a guy named Lin. He gives her a bouquet of flowers and they plan to meet again the next day. When she returns home, Tong becomes jealous seeing her flowers. He reminds her that he's pursuing her and hopes she won't go on any more blind dates. But at that moment, her parents arrive at the house, so she quickly pushes him and tells him to go away. The following day, Shin meets Lin at a mall and this time, Tong and his assistant secretly follow them. They wear masks and glasses to avoid being recognized. But the people nearby easily recognize our hero and begin talking about him. Soon, Shin overhears people saying that the well-known producer Tong is now at the mall. So she calls him and asks what he's doing there. He explains that he just wanted to see if her date was more attractive than him. However, she asks him to leave quickly and then goes to see a movie with Lin. Later, Tong is seething that she's out with another guy, so he decides to do something drastic. When she gets home, he corners her in the elevator and begins kissing her. He's so passionate that she gives in and kisses him back. But afterwards, she warns him that if he does that again, she will not forgive him. He then tells her to punish him if she hates him that much, and in response, she bites his hand firmly and leaves. The following day, Shin visits Juan's store and notices a customer secretly taking pictures of the clothes. They accuse the woman of trying to steal the designs, but she denies it. Shin then insists that if she's a customer, she needs to buy something. The woman reluctantly purchases the dress, and the girls charge her a fortune. In the evening, Tong comes to pick up Shin from work, but she goes to have dinner with Lin instead. Over dinner, she tells him that she can't date him because she has feelings for someone else. Lin assumes it must be Tong because he noticed him following her the other day at the mall. He says he was going to express his feelings tonight, but after hearing this, he's heartbroken. She then apologizes and claims she wants to stay good friends with him. While they're leaving, Tong unexpectedly shows up and introduces himself to Lin. He then shows the bite wounds and claims how bad it hurt. Seeing this, she feels embarrassed and takes him away. When they get home, he asks her whether she likes Lin, but she denies it. He says he regrets rejecting her because at the time, he didn't understand what love was. Shin stares at him angrily and replies that she no longer feels the same way about him. Before leaving, he tries to kiss her farewell, but she refuses and shuts the door. The next day while Shin is on the phone with Juan, the customer from earlier arrives at the store with two thugs. They start causing trouble, so she quickly rushes to the store to help her friend. Our heroine tries to negotiate with the thugs and promises a refund, but they begin attacking her, injuring her hands. Just as the thug tries to slap her, Tong appears out of nowhere and beats these guys until they can barely stand. Once he's done, Shin hugs him tightly and breaks down in tears. He then takes her to the hospital, leaving Gao to call the police to handle the situation. Later at the hospital while Shin is getting bandaged, she asks Tong how he found out about the situation. He explains that when he called her, Huan had picked up the phone and he heard the commotion in the background. Due to her injury, she's required to rest for several days, during which Tong looks after her and feeds her. Later, she asks what happened to the thugs, and he says they're facing legal proceedings. She feels bad that she's unable to work due to her injury, but he assures her that he will type her script for her, making her happy. The next day, Shin informs him that she's stuck at a certain point in her script, and she wants to fully experience separation and loss, and write a scene with real feelings. So, Tong takes her to a hospital where he used to volunteer, and shows her an elderly couple. Turns out, the woman has terminal cancer and is about to pass away. Shin looks at the old couple who reminisce about their lives together. They say their only regret is they didn't take wedding photos when they were younger. Hearing this, Shin and Tong decide to help the elderly couple and fulfill their wish. He immediately makes some phone calls and arranges a wedding photo shoot. Seeing the couple in their wedding dresses smiling happily, Shin becomes emotional. This experience gives her a new perspective on separation, which she decides to use in her script. A few days later, the script is finally completed and the team decides to go out and celebrate together. There, Tong's friends tease him and ask him why he's still not dating Shin. He replies that he's willing to keep courting her as long as necessary. The next day, the movie team holds their first press conference and they're excited about their potential success. There, journalists question Jang about whether she got the role because of her famous brother. When she gets nervous, Justin defends her claiming that he was the one who chose her and it has nothing to do with her brother. Tong then introduces a special guest who turns out to be the actress he was seen with a few days ago. It's then revealed that she's one of the side characters in the movie. Shin realizes that they were only together because of work and is relieved. Several days later, while Tong is away on a business trip, his friend sends Shin a photo of him with another woman. This makes her jealous, so she starts ignoring his calls, but our hero is a stubborn man too, so he bombards her with repeated calls, forcing her to answer. He then asks her to pick him up from the airport the next day. Despite her anger, she obliges and heads to the airport. But throughout their conversation, she behaves very coldly, which surprises him. When they arrive at her house, he asks her what happened, but she refuses to answer. 
Moments later, Tom gets a call from his friend who asks if Shin is jealous after seeing the picture. It finally dawns on him why she's so mad and he tries to explain himself, but she doesn't listen. She leaves her cell phone on the couch and when he tries to give it to her, he notices her alternative social media profile. Later, Tong looks through her profile and discovers something shocking. She has shared every detail of their moments, from their first meeting to the time she proposed to him. While reading this, he feels regretful and breaks down in tears. Around midnight, she comes back to check on him and he admits he saw her confession on her alternate account. Tong reassures her not to be jealous of the photo, explaining that the woman is just a client. He offers apologies for whatever happened in the past and says that he now wants to be with her. He also promises to make up for the pain he's caused and gives her a tender hug. In the following scene, Shin's birthday is just two days away and she daydreams about Tong saying wonderful things to her and asking her out. She then sends invitations to several close friends, including him. On the evening of her birthday, all her friends arrive with gifts and they have a great time together. However, our hero is nowhere to be seen. Although Shin doesn't show it, inside she's devastated. Thinking he's a no-show, she goes to discard the trash. At that very moment, the elevator opens and Tong appears, making her very happy. They spend some time alone in his car and he presents her with the cake and candles. She waits for him to ask her out, but they continue talking normally. Soon his friend arrives and they have to leave for a business trip. The next day, Ding calls her brother and asks if he asked Shin out. Upon learning that he hasn't, she scolds him and urges him to do so before it's too late. He then seeks advice from a friend on how to ask her out, and his friend suggests asking her out on the anniversary of the day she forcibly kissed him. This only irritates Tong, so he seeks guidance from his father. Unfortunately, it's not really something Dad can help him with, which leaves him even more frustrated. Moments later, his mother arrives and asks what the problem is. He then explains the entire situation to her and says he wants to ask out Shin. Mom gives him advice from a woman's perspective and suggests he confess in a romantic place where only the two of them are present. Following this, Tong begins looking for a romantic venue for his proposal. He searches far and wide and eventually finds a beautiful beach. Meanwhile, the team meets to discuss a suitable filming location. Justin recommends a place abroad, but Tong refuses to do so due to financial constraints. This leads to an argument between them and they stop talking to each other. Later, Shin and Ding act as mediators and try to convince them, but neither is willing to compromise. Before the matter can escalate further, Tong finds a beautiful countryside location, which Justin loves as well, and they agree to shoot there. A few days later, the team arrives on location and begins filming. Everything seems to be going very well until the cameraman accidentally falls into the sea and Tong has to jump in and save him. Gao considers diving in as well, but Jisun says it's unnecessary because he's an excellent swimmer. However, the assistant reveals that Tong suffered a shoulder injury two years ago, which has made it difficult for him to paddle in water. The revelation stuns Shin, and she begins to panic. But moments later, our hero reaches the shore with the cameraman and lies on the ground. The group rushes over to him, and Shin hugs him tightly while crying. She tells him that she can't imagine her life without him and asks him to be her boyfriend. He laughs and says he wants it too, but not this way. He claims he wants to give her a proper proposal, but she says she doesn't care and kisses him passionately. Later at the hotel when she arrives to check on Tong, he pretends to be in a lot of pain so she will lovingly take care of him. Soon, the two begin kissing and making out, but suddenly they're interrupted by Jusin. Tong is irritated to see him and asks what he's doing there. The letter says that he just wanted to inform them that tomorrow is a day off. The next day, our couple goes on a date where they ride bikes, eat together, and kiss from time to time. At the end of their date, they arrive at a beach, and Shin says that she never imagined she'd be able to hug him like this. Taking advantage of the romantic setting, he confesses to her and formally asks her to be his girlfriend. She happily accepts, and they share a hug. The following day, the filming resumes, but Ding is so nervous that she can't perform any scenes well. Justin tries everything to make her comfortable, but it doesn't work. Frustrated, she starts crying in the dressing room and Tong gets angry with her. He blames her for wasting everyone's time and asks her to act professionally. Seeing this, Shin asks him to be more sensitive to his sister, but he only gets angry and states that their family principal is always to give their best. Given the opportunity, Shin provides Ding with some words of encouragement and finally she's able to perform her scenes well. This impresses everyone and they applaud her acting skills. Meanwhile, Tong's parents learn from a crew member that their son has a girlfriend, so they arrive on set to confirm this. Shin introduces herself, but Mom says they already know her and that she's like family. That evening, Mom visits her room and says she can't sleep with her husband due to his snoring. She then asks to stay with her, and Shin has no choice but to agree. 
The two then start chatting cordially, and Tong's mother even shows several pictures of him as a child. She also shares some embarrassing stories, such as how he used to wet the bed until he was about four years old. The next morning, Shin almost falls asleep on set, so Tong asks her what she was doing all night. She replies that she saw his naked baby pictures and begins laughing. Hearing this, he feels embarrassed and rushes to confront his mother. He then takes her aside and begins scolding her for sharing his childhood photos and stories with Shin. In response, Mom tells him to calm down and says it's no big deal because she's his girlfriend. She claims she did it to improve the relationship and begins advising him on how to treat her. However, unbeknownst to them, the entire crew is listening in on their conversation and they're surprised. Shin's very embarrassed and tries to hide her face. Just then, Tong notices a walkie-talkie in his mother's hands and asks where she got it. She says Jisun gave it to her so she could reach him if she needed anything. Meanwhile, everyone on set begins congratulating Shin on her relationship and cheering in excitement. Tong also appears out of nowhere and openly confirms his relationship with her. Later, he becomes concerned that his parents' presence could impact their filming, so he convinces them to leave, promising to update them regularly. After they depart, he apologizes to Shin for his mother's overexcitement, but she says that his mother is adorable and that she has no problems with her. He then tells her that he will be leaving as well and asks her to look over Ding in his absence. Days later, the crew is required to shoot a scene at a very high altitude. Ding is nervous but claims she can do it, and after much struggle, she manages to complete the scene. But as she's about to descend, the rope unexpectedly breaks. She's left hanging in the air and holds onto the railing, but she can't hold on for long. Terrified, she begins screaming, and Justin quickly rushes to her rescue. In the process, he hurts his hand, but despite the pain, he manages to save her. He then gently wipes away her tears and apologizes for putting her in danger. Later that evening, Ding arrives at Justin's room with food and thanks him for saving her. They sit down to eat, and he tells her that if she wants to quit after what happened today, she can. However, she says that she's committed to becoming a successful actress and will work hard to achieve this. Hearing this, he feels proud of her and strokes her hair with his injured hand. The next evening, Shin visits Tong at his house and gives him a little doll that looks like him. He finds it funny and asks her to spend the night with him. Later, he goes to take a bath and comes out wearing a bathrobe. Seeing him like this, her eyes almost pop out of her head and she thinks he's trying to seduce her. However, her hopes are crushed when he asks her to blow dry his hair. At that moment, a friend of his arrives, but Tong waves him off, saying he's busy. He then tries to get closer to Shin, but she becomes nervous and leaves. The next day on set, Ding has to do a kissing scene. This makes her very nervous because she's never kissed before. Soon the shoot begins, but both main leads act very awkwardly. Seeing them so uncomfortable, Jisun steps in and tries to demonstrate the proper posture. But while doing so, Ding slips and they end up kissing each other. That evening, Jisun looks at the clips with Ding and begins to blush. He knows that they made her feel awkward, so he decides to apologize. He goes to her room with gifts and says sorry for what happened. However, she assures him that she's not that petty and doesn't mind. A few days later, the movie wraps up and everyone gathers for a celebration. During the public conference, Tong openly hugs Shin and shows his affection. Even though the film hasn't been released, Ding's popularity starts to rise. One evening, Jisun invites her for dinner and apologizes again for the last incident. She says it's fine and requests that he take her photo. He complies, but while taking her picture, he freezes due to her stunning beauty. Before leaving, he gives her a gift and asks her to open it when she gets home. Later, when she opens it, she discovers a hairpin inside. She recalls it's the same one a male lead gave to his lover in Jisun's first movie. The next morning, Shin receives a call from her mother who's upset that she didn't tell her about her new relationship. She's outraged that she had to learn about this from a press conference. Shin apologizes and tries to explain, but her mother refuses to listen and hangs up. Annoyed, our heroine calls Tang and shares the situation with him. After discussing it for a while, they decide to visit her parents and talk to them. In the next scene, the couple goes to meet her parents where she intends to introduce her boyfriend. Her father greets them, but he doesn't seem very pleased. Mom then arrives and asks them to leave since she hasn't prepared enough food. Tong apologizes and admits it was his fault that he came out without notice. The couple then enter the house and the atmosphere becomes very uncomfortable. Later, they begin to play some games and the atmosphere lightens. Following dinner, Dad asks Tong if he truly loves his daughter. In response, our hero kneels to the ground and confesses his feelings for her. He grabs her hand and swears to treasure her forever, and her parents are deeply touched to see this. The next day, they return to their apartment and Tong tells Shin that since they went to see her parents, they should go to see his too. This makes her nervous, but he assures her that they will love her. In the following scene, the couple arrives at Tong's parents' house where they warmly welcome her. 
Mom even hands her a large envelope as a welcome gift, and Shin reluctantly accepts it. As they sit down, Mom excitedly asks when they plan to get married, and both of them are shocked by the question. Shin then shyly admits that they haven't considered it yet. After this, Mom serves them drinks, and they all have a good time together. Later, Tong brings a drunk Shin home and tries to put her to bed. However, she behaves seductively and begins kissing him. He does kiss her back, but since she's drunk, he puts her to bed. The next day, the couple head to a meeting with Ding and Jishin, but her heroine suddenly remembers something urgent, so she decides to postpone the meeting for now. Elsewhere, Ding and Jishin are waiting for their friends, and the situation becomes quite awkward. To break the silence, he shows her several behind-the-scene videos, and she excitedly watches them. Soon, she comes across the video of their kiss, and the computer suddenly freezes at that moment. Jishin then holds her hand and confesses that he likes her. He claims he couldn't delete the video, but tells her to go ahead if she wants to. However, she refuses and kisses him passionately. She then asks if they're in a relationship, to which he says yes. Days later, the movie Dream of You is officially released and becomes a massive hit at the box office. Following this success, Ding decides to publicly announce her relationship. Jishin becomes nervous and worries that she may lose her fans. However, she claims she doesn't care and goes live streaming where she announces their relationship. When Shin sees the stream, she asks Tong if he's bothered by it. He replies that he's not worried because he knows Jishin is a decent person. He claims he doesn't want to interfere in his sister's life and just wants to see her happy. The following day, Tong takes Shin to a secluded spot and delights her with balloons and flowers. The two then ride in a hot air balloon, and as they float, he surprises her with fireworks and a message that states, Marry me. Shin is shocked, and when she turns around, she sees him proposing with a ring. This makes her very happy, and she tearfully accepts his proposal. In the next scene, the two families meet to discuss the wedding, and Tong shows them the prenuptial agreement. It states that he's willing to give up all of his assets to Shin if he ever cheats on her or hurts her. Shin's parents consider it unnecessary, but his parents support his decision. After receiving their parents' blessing, our couple goes to register their marriage. Shin also shares the information online, and they quickly become a trending topic on the internet. Several days later, Shin goes back to Time's pictures and notices a change in how everyone treats her now that she's the boss's wife. In the evening, the couple hosts a private party at home to celebrate with their friends, and they have a fun time together. After their friends leave, the two begin kissing each other, and they finally make love. Meanwhile, we see Ding and Jishin heading home together. She notes how her brother has changed since getting engaged and says she's envious of him. Hearing this, he says he's also willing to marry her if she wants, which makes her laugh. She then states that she's very grateful to him for choosing her as an actress and helping her discover her passion. Jishin also admits that being by her side makes him happy, and the two affectionately hug. In the final scene, Tong and Shin are getting ready for their wedding photo shoot, and he is amazed how beautiful she looks. As they begin the shoot, he tells her that he's glad to have met her and thanks her for loving him for four years and being patient. Shin tells him that she has always known that they were meant to be together. They then share a kiss and a promise to cherish each other forever.